Urban salmon time. Gonna do cayenne, oregano, garlic, onion, smoked paprika, chili powder, salt and pepper. Mix it all together and sprinkle it on those beautiful pieces of salmon. And then you're gonna rub that seasoning in and kind of roll the salmon onto the extra seasoning so you get it all over the sides. Yes, indeed, that is delicious. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some butter in a cast iron skillet. You want a cast iron skillet for this. Get that butter nice and hot and sizzling. Lay down your pieces of salmon right on that hot butter. Give it a turn and that is the blackening that we like to see. That amount of flavor will just blow your little minds. Bourbon sauce time, or glaze sauce. Bourbon glaze time. <laughs> We're gonna do half a cup of bourbon, quarter cup of agave syrup, couple tablespoons of Worcestershire, a teaspoon of Dijon. Actually, no, I think we used whole grain mustard for this one. We did. And two tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of red pepper flake. Get that all incorporated into there. And then you're going to take two garlic cloves and use your garlic press or just mince it all up with your knife and throw it in there too and then get that all sizzling you want to let this simmer for you know what you just want to reduce it by half and then once you take your spatula and see how that once you spread it across it stays away that's what you want to do and then that's just about done so we're going to take our salmon shred it up put an egg in there put in some panko breadcrumbs and some salt and pepper more to taste if it's not enough flavor for you, but it should be well more than enough. And just add a little bit more panko, and you just want to get it to just stick together. That's just a beautiful shot of our bourbon glaze pouring into a bowl. Lovely, just lovely. And then we're gonna take, again, more butter. Put more butter in that cast iron pan. Lay your beautiful salmon patties that you made about a half inch thick 
maybe an inch thick even. <laughs> Those are big boys. And just give them a flip when they're all nice and done. And that's what you want to see on the other side. You want it to be nice and crispy. And then take some of that bourbon glaze and give it a sprinkle on your salmon patties. You just want to give it a little bit of a glaze and then that's that bourbon glaze will to continue to cook right into the bottom of the patties. And then we're going to take some smoked jalapeno jack cheese and cover each patty and then put on the cloche. It's a cloche uncovering a melty jack cheese. It's delicious. Then we're going to take bread and butter pickles. Daddy's not a fan of bread and butter pickles, but they were the right choice in this scenario. Then we're going to take some fresh arugula. Yes, look at how fresh and tasty and healthy. Then take your salmon burger, place it on top. And now some of the best bacon in the world from Gordon's. It is the extra thick bacon. It always cooks up perfect. And then drizzle that beautiful bourbon glaze right on top of your salmon burger. And wow, that looks fantastic. Let's place the bun on top and let's move it over. Oh boy, look at that cutting. We're just going to cut it and it will break apart a little bit. You know, it's just a smashed salmon patty and that's okay. Pull it apart. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, here it is. The subscriber requested from a while back. Natasha requested this one. The Bourbon Salmon Burger. There it is. We used a beautiful, beautiful small batch bourbon. Some grade A salmon from Gordon's. Grade A salmon. Did you know they sell seafood? Did you know? Now you know. Now you know. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. You guys. I didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs> oh man. The bourbon, the bourbon glaze is sweet. It's got some punch in your face though. The, the salmon is just outrageous. It's got the perfect amount of crust to it from blackening it like we did in the cast iron pan. And the spice from the chili pepper, chili powder and the cayenne in there. And then the, the jalapeno jack cheese, the smoked jalapeno jack cheese. Mm. Wow. This is a must try. The bacon adds, I mean, it, it is, it's amazing. This is an amazing, amazing burger. Natasha, you got to try this. I want to see pictures. I know your husband hates seafood, but just, just stick it in his mouth. Just stick it in his mouth. Let's see what this beer is like. Now, this beer was a gift from my cousin out in Colorado. He got it from his cousin. This is called Quintiki, and this is from Avery Brewing. Now, most of you have heard of Avery Brewing. If you have not, Avery Brewing is responsible some for some of the, the biggest, baddest beers I've ever drank. Uh, in fact, when we were visiting out in Colorado, we went to Avery Brewing, and <laughs> every, every beer we drank was at least 14%, so we had a a flight of, I don't know, 17 or 18. And we had to stay there for quite a while to, to come to, correct? <laughs> but this Quintiki is a 16.2% barrel aged Imperial Blonde Ale aged in rum barrels with pineapple, coconut, orange, and nutmeg. Now, the reason I chose this one is because it's got that nutmeg, that little bit of spice to it. So I figured it would probably pair really nicely with the sweet and the punch of the salmon burger. So let's give it a try. Mm. Daddy was right. <laughs> Be generous in life and with your burgers.